Hi fellow foodies and welcome back to another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen where we love to eat. Today I'll be sharing with you my spaghetti and meatballs recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. To begin, I'm starting by using two slices of plain white bread. I'll be toasting my bread slightly before putting it into the food processor to make my breadcrumbs. If you like, you could use ordinary store-bought breadcrumbs. Just a fast alternative. So here I have my breadcrumbs. I'll be using one pound of ground minced beef. Okay, so to, to begin, to season our ground minced beef, I'll be using three cloves of garlic followed by some sive. To season, you want to add some salt, black pepper, garlic, sive, and I'll also be using some parsley. To this mixture, I'm adding one egg and half of the breadcrumbs. We'll give this a good mix, incorporate all the ingredients together. I'll be adding the remaining breadcrumbs. And about half teaspoon salt again. Some more green onions or side. I'm gonna mix this together. And now I'm ready to prepare my meatballs. So just using my hand, I'm pinching some of the meat mixture and just gently rolling it together to form a ball. One pound of minced beef, I got 12 meatballs. It depends on the size, you can get 12 to 14 meatballs. I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator to cool for 30 minutes. It's now 30 minutes later, and I'm preparing to fry my meatballs. To a hot frying pan, I'm adding some oil. When the oil is heated, you wanna add your meatballs. Place this on a slow to medium heat. You want to turn and allow the other side to cook. When the bone is brown on all sides, you want to take them out. And now we're going to prepare the spaghetti sauce. We have heated another pan and to this I'm adding some garlic and some onions. I'm leaving my garlic and onions saute until cool and brown. For my sauce, I'm using Hans pasta sauce, garlic, and oil flavor. 
I'll be using three quarter tin. You can use any flavor that you wish. I find the sauce to be a bit acidic, so I'm using some ketchup to add some balance, as well as some sugar. Add some water. About a tablespoon of sugar. Taste to make sure it's okay. I'm placing my meatballs into the sauce. Give that a good turn. And cover and allow to simmer for a few minutes just to finish cooking meatballs thoroughly. So a few minutes later and now I'll be adding some shredded cheese. And some more cheese. And then I'm gonna cover and allow it to simmer for just about one and a half minutes. Our meatballs are now completed. You can serve this up with some pasta here. Yeah, I just boiled some pasta. I just added a sprinkling of olive oil to my pasta. Sprinkle some parsley, and that's it. Our spaghetti and meatballs is ready. I did enjoy this recipe. If you like this recipe, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. I want to thank you once again for joining me here on Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen.